guys, welcome to another uh, video where I take a look at various uh, official and unofficial clones of some classic arcade games. Now, one of the classiest, if that's the right word to use, uh, early video games was Burger Time. Um, <laughs> it was an early, early game and of course when 8-bit computers became a thing, um, you know, Every every company was releasing their own versions. I mean, other games always included Pac-Man, Space Invaders, you name it. All the popular. I think Pac-Man was probably the one that had the most kind of clones. Um, but uh, yeah, Burger Time. Love love the arcade game. But it's it's really really difficult. But uh, I just love that. I love the whole uh, the cuteness of getting chased with a a fried egg and a sausage. You know, just awesome. So this this first one um, is on the C64 and it's called Burger Chase and it was released by Supersoft in 1984. Now hopefully this is going to allow me to use the joystick. So let's go new game. Uh, right, new game, how do we start? It doesn't look like keyboard can be, oh possibly we can. Right, one or two players, one. Use joystick and port one. Well, at least it's telling us. So I'll just change that to uh, using my emulator. Bink. All right, that should now be good to go. F one. <laughs> the Bonnie Banks of Loch Lomond. <laughs> I can't think of a more inappropriate tune for a burger game. <laughs> Now these eggs, these fried eggs look uh, slightly blue, they actually look like they're off. And the noise of the burgers, it sounds like, ah bugger, beat it. Yeah it sounds like pieces of sheet metal falling rather than uh, a burger. What the hell happened there? Look like that sausage and fried egg kissed or something, I don't know. <laughs> now I did do a I needed what um video on Super Soft and a lot of the I've got to say most of the software they released wasn't very good. But I've got to say this is actually not a bad little game. We'll just try and do we'll either lose one life or we'll try and complete it. Whatever happens first. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, what is that called? That's called Burger Chase, and that is by Supersoft, and that's on the Commodore 64. Right. Okay. This next one is called Burger Time, and this is on the Amstrad CPC 464. It was released in 1985 by Hebdo Ciel. So I'm guessing it's a well, as it says there, it's a French game. Now, according to this, it was actually a typing. So, is this written in basic? Let's give it a go. I think the Amstrad was probably too recent for burger kind of time games. Uh, you know, things had moved on. You know, these kind of unofficial clones were prevalent in the sort of the early 80s, you know, 81, 82, 83. But by the time the Amstrad came along, you know, consumers' tastes had changed and they wanted more than just a uh, straightforward arcade uh, conversions. So burger time, let's get this bad boy going. It's all in French. Hopefully this will work, because I don't speak French at all. There's a rather sad uh, little... It actually looks like Bomo Man out of... Uh, what do you call it? Out of uh, Super Mario 64, the wee guy at the bottom. Is the joystick going to work? Hey! <laughs> yeah, you can see there it moves in character blocks. And it's not the quickest. <laughs> but you know what? As a type in game, I would have been over the moon to have this game. So the graphics aren't actually that bad yet, it's, it's, it's all a bit 
It's all a bit jerky, but come on, why does it not want to move? <laughs> Didn't want to move to the left there. Have we got any paper? It doesn't look like we have. If this had been written in machine code, it would have been actually not a bad little game. Now let's try once more, see if we can run across here. Nope, it just keeps stopping me for some strange reason. It's not a bad little version, it's just obviously way too slow. You can see it kind of pausing as well. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like that you've got pepper of any kind. But yeah, I can't actually see any other burglary type games in Amstrad. As I said, I think it's more to do with the fact that Amstrad came along kind of after all these conversions had come out. You know, people wanted things like Night Lore and that. They didn't want conversions of, you know, old arcade games. But for a basic game, it looks really, really nice. And all things considered, it's actually still quite playable. Aries, so I've got to be up there to run along, I think of it. Yeah. I'm going to get caught. Oh, come down, 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 down. But yeah, if you know, if you type this in, I'd have certainly been really happy. to have this because it is pretty damn good when you consider what it is or the, when you consider it's actually running in basic <laughs> yeah that's a uh, burger king burger king that's burger time and that is on amstrad cpc 464 right this next one is again it's on the commodore 64 and this is burger time this was released by Interceptor Software in 1984. Now this is actually an original game that I still own to this day. So, how do we start? Is it fire button? Hey, there we go. <laughs> this was programmed by a chap who goes by the name of Lee Brain. I think he did he did an awful lot of uh, Interceptors games. Now, In Interceptor were terrible at, you know, ripping off other people's ideas, especially uh, Lamasoft games. The chap that started up Interceptor Software, he used to work with Jeff Minter, and I think they had a big fallout, and, you know, the guy was bringing out his own sort of versions of uh, Jeff Minter games. And largely, <laughs> they're pretty bad. They're not the greatest games in the world, but this one's actually pretty damn good. Ah, damn it. There we go, thank you very much. It looks and plays pretty much as you would expect. Hey, yeah, that's Burger Time, and that is by Interceptor Software, and again, this is on the Commodore 64. Right, okay, this next one is, uh, ah, bollocks, is uh, Barmy Burgers on the ZX Spectrum, <laughs> released uh, in 1983 by Blabby Computer Games. Now, uh, <laughs> it seems to be completely devoid of any, uh, sort of title screen. The game loads and instantly starts and then when you die, when it's game over, it just instantly starts again, so yeah, which is slightly odd, but I've got to say the graphics are, are rather nice. Damn it. <laughs> it's difficult. You see here, game over and it just kicks off right again. Boom, there we go. 
Now I'm using my Xbox 360 controller, which is probably not the... Oh, damn it. Probably not the best controller for a game like this. But, uh, I noticed in this game you can, you can basically get caught in a dead end along the bottom there. Yeah, if you go down the bottom and turn to your right, you basically get stuck. for one more go. But this is actually this has actually got a good version. Considering Ah damn it. Considering how early it is. Yes, yeah, you actually have to be really careful here because in fact along the bottom when you're taking out the burgers along the very bottom it's easy to get stuck. So you need to be very very careful. Love the spectrum sound effect, so. Ah, fuck it. As, as you can see, it's kind of character based movement. It's not pixel movement, so, uh, you know, it's not particularly accurate. <laughs> yeah, you get too close and it's game over. So, yeah, that is Barney Burgers um, on the spectrum. It's actually not bad, it's just extremely difficult, and for an early. Early uh, computer game is pretty damn good, and I bet you see the graphics are absolutely top notch. So, yeah, brilliant stuff. Right, next up, this is on the Atari 800. This is called The Burger Chef. Uh, it doesn't actually tell you when it was released. According to this, it was a uh, freeware or shareware, so let's give it a go. How do we start? Press start. <laughs> I find quite surprising, I don't actually see uh, an official version of this game. I don't think it actually was ever officially uh, released. I know it was out on the ColecoVision and possibly the Atari ST, not Atari ST, the Atari 2600. I've deliberately not included these versions guys because this isn't a, it's not an arcade perfect my arse, it's just really looking at the various clones of some of these you know, arcade games. Stop. No. Get up, get up. <laughs> right, okay, that's enough of that one. That is Burger Chef. And that is on Atari 800. Right, this next one is Mr. Wimpy. And this is on the BBC. Uh, Mr. Wimpy was probably the only real sort of commercial released game uh, based on Burger Time that was released ac across multiple platforms. I don't recall any other. Um, there was never an official conversion of Burger King at all. Or Burger King? I keep saying Burger King. Burger Time, I should say. Um, now, this is actually a good game. It's actually a really good game bar for one really, really annoying thing which you shall see in a second. The first level, annoyingly, they've bolted on this uh, bit where you've got to try and get from one side of the screen to the other to pick up ingredients. You've then got to take the, the ingredients back again whilst avoiding that. I've just been lost my ingredients. Avoiding that yellow thing. I've no idea what that's supposed to be. This level just made this game really annoying to play. If it wasn't for the fact that it had this level, I would have played it a lot, lot more. But it's just so random. <laughs> <clears throat> but I believe the reason they put this, they, they, Ocean would probably say it was different, but I believe the reason they've tagged this uh, this first level on is if Data East were to go and look at this game, they would load it up and go, this is nothing like Burger burger, uh, burger Time and move on swiftly, but uh, 
Yeah, and also the the it was one of the early uh, sort of sponsored games, you know, licensed I should say. Um, it was licensed by Mr. Wimpy, or sorry, it wasn't called Mr. Wimpy. It was just called Wimpy, and that was virtually that was the only place you could really get hamburgers in the UK back in the 80s. Um, you know, McDonald's did not arrive until I think probably mid 80s, 85, 86, something like that. Maybe in London they were there before, but certainly throughout the rest of the UK, McDonald's, Burger King weren't a thing. But we had Mr. Wimpy, or we had Wimpy, it's called. Um, so yeah, this was a, this was a, this was like licensed. Obviously, that little character that you control there was the the Wimpy mascot, the little beef eater. But yeah, this game was quite simply ruined with addition of this really annoying first level. If it had even given you the option to skip it, that would have been marvellous, but it didn't do that. I dare say some cracked versions would allow you to jump straight into the proper game, which was level 2. Yeah, as soon as you lose a little tree, you've got to go all the way back, get the tree, and then you've got to try and get across the other side of the screen, whilst avoiding that. I don't know what the hell it's supposed to be, but it's just really annoying. And get the ingredient and try and hot foot it across. And try and not die. <laughs> right, yeah. It's, it's a great conversion, but it's just spoiled with that stupid first level. So that is Mr. Wimpy, and that was on the BBC, that one. Right, this next one, uh, Burger Time it's called, this is on the ZX Spectrum, and uh, I had a little shot just to get the controls uh, right, and I think it's written in basic. <laughs> now, I've actually got this running at twice the speed, so the game you're going to see now is actually running twice as quick as it should do, because it was just so slow, so I'm absolutely guessing it must be written in basic. Yeah, when it was loading up, it's got a really, really nice loading screen. Uh, and given it was written in 2003, I had quite high hopes that this was going to be the definitive uh, Burger King for it. Not Burger King, why do I keep saying Burger King? The definitive Burger Time for the Spectrum. But alas, I don't think that's the case. <laughs> I don't know what that yellow thing is. Is that, What on earth is it? It's like a, a stretched Pac-Man screaming in pain. And I don't know what that green thing is. Is that like a pokey chips or something? I don't know what that is. Yeah, as I said, this is actually running at twice the normal speed. <laughs> and even then, it's kind of grind. Well, it's kind of grinding to a standstill. Oh, I thought it was finished here. I've still got that one across the, the far side to go. So let's can we get across here? Oh, keep going. <laughs> what? Oh, I thought he disappeared, but he hadn't. Right, well, man, I'm going to die here. Ah. <laughs> Come on, leg it. Come on. Yeah, there only appears to be one, one sort of, when I say official, one Burger Time game released in the Spectrum, which I found quite surprising. I was expecting a complete abundance, no pun intended, of these uh, games. The thing is, a lot of clones, they would change the name, so you might get, it might, you might have one called Sandwich King or something, I don't know, if anybody knows of any other Burger King games on the spectrum and let me know. Well saying that it'll be too late to go into this video obviously because you're watching it. <coughs> Nivel Completado. Yeah that's Burger King and that was released by in 2003 and that is on the Xerix Spectrum. Right this one is what's it called? It's called Burger Boy and it's on the Atari 800. 
Well, let's see then. Get going, start. There we go. <laughs> I just got to laugh at the little graphics of these things. Now again, I don't think this was an official version at all. Graphically wise, it's alright. The sound is a bit lacking, I would say, but... <laughs> I guess for a sort of homebrew version, it was it's what you would expect. <laughs> hey, we'll go for one more level since that was quite quick. Sounds more like a game of a uh, ping pong, not ping pong, a game of a uh, pong. Right, I think that's quite enough of Burger, Burger Boy it's called. Right, okay, let's take a look at the very last version. Right, the very last one I'm going to look at, guys, is called Burger Time, and it was released on the Commodore 64 in 1997. So let's give it a wee go. Right, right away, you can probably tell this is probably about the closest you're ah bugger the closest you're going to get to playing Burger Time on a computer unless you start looking at sort of official conversions certainly got the proper tune anyway that wrong, go and get the salt. Ah, damn it, he should have died there. <laughs> so yeah, I must admit, when I started off making this video, I thought there was going to be absolute tons of versions of this game for different 8-bit machines, and I was actually quite surprised to see just how few they actually were. Um, like I said, it's possible that there were games, you know, clones of the game that didn't have the word burger in it. You know, it might have been called something completely different. I don't know. But uh, yeah, looking for looking for games that had the name burger in it, there was very, very few, which I was really surprised to actually see. So yeah, this isn't a bad version actually. That's quite nice. Obviously coming out in 1997, it would be regarded as a sort of modern remake, you know. The C64 wasn't really an active platform. Ah, damn it, back in 1997. But uh, anyway, listen guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, daft little video. Um, if there's any other kind of unofficial cloned type game you'd like to see me do one of these features on just put your comments below and as always guys thank you very much for watching